play. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Why do I have the SmackDown video as the intro to this? <laughs> Well, welcome everybody to the first pay-per-view event of the year, Iron Mountain. We have quite a show oh, for you tonight. Oh, this is the current SmackDown one, so that'd be, so that'd be some st stupid mumble song. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have it set for Battle Scars, the so it's, it's the freaking B-Team <laughs> entrance. <laughs> And it actually fits, fits SmackDown more. Yeah, it does. Yo, 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 Benson, what's up? What up, what up, what up? I have got Benson and Mr. Odds Coronet here with me tonight. And we are at our at the Iron Mountain pay-per-view event. We're going to go over the matches we have in tonight's lineup. First, we have... A five-man ironclad contract match where the winner of this match will get a title shot at the Octane Cruiserweight World Championship at our next pay-per-view or next live show. Also, we have a triple threat match for the Octane Heavyweight World Championship between Demolition, Inti, and Dougal McLeod. Yo, what's up, Mr. Odds? Welcome. <laughs> I see you guys texting in the chat board. Mm -hmm. Alright. As always. As always. Yeah. And then we have a two-on-two -two match between two-thirds of the Dark Trio, Dominic Voorhees and Aaron Dark. And two thirds of the legendary beast, Suicune and Reiku. In our fourth match of the night, we have an Iron Woman match. Between... And the legendary beast will just run away. Yeah, probably. And we have an Iron Woman match in our fourth match of the night between Starlet and Nebula, followed by a tag team contest. That match will be to the moon. Yeah, this will this will be a really good match, actually. Uh, they, these ladies, they tear it up when they're in the ring together. Um, the the super heels, Takako and Inoue and Tina Ferrari against Jin Corso and Kitty. And then we have our five woman. Ironclad contract match, same as the same as that first Ironclad contract match. The winner of the match will get a title shot. This time for the Octane Women's World Championship at the next pay per view. And then finally, the last match of the night. The last match of the night, we have Delvin McLeod versus the American Phoenix. And it looks like Phoenix has some backup tonight. It's interesting. I didn't know that Phoenix had Bobby Heenan as his manager. Hmm. That's interesting. interesting. Development. Yeah, that is an interesting development. All right. All right, so we are going to normal match what they changed it on me damn it that was supposed to be an Iron Man match Whoosh. damn it universe mode yes dang it universe mode well mm. well no Iron Man match this time for those two we're gonna go into that first match. Could be now. a blessing or a curse, depending on depending on how things turn out. Yeah, exactly. I don't know how long the show's gonna gonna go for. So that could be a blessing or a curse. Let's get into our first matchup. 
right now. We have a great match coming up next. At in a match moment. that is sure to not, not disappoint. This moment. Right. Right. Exactly. Five man matchup. Winner of this match, like I said, takes home a contract for a title match at the next show. It should be a good one. And the contract is is to be in Aladdin 2. Hey. You gotta make a wish for it. <laughs> <laughs> got to make a wish in the middle of the ring. I want to be champion. I want a good live action Disney movie. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A good live action Disney movie. Points hey. at points at the Marvel Cinematic Universe cuz cuz yep. Disney on their own can't make can't make good live action movies to save their lives. I don't know. I'll, I want to see Lion King first, and then I'll uh, I'll make my opinion after that. <laughs> right, that's that's just my uh, it's my two cents on that. I'll wait and I'll, I'll wait and I'll see Lion King, and I'll I'll see how how that is, and I I don't want to see Lion King because because that'll hit me right in the childhood. Uh, I'm not afraid to see it. I mean, I did, I did work. Be right in the childhood, like a good swift kick in the balls. Oh, ow! Eh, I don't know though. It might be a good movie. Uh, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Could be because it's Lion King. I want to see how they do. I want to see the differences between the live action and the cartoon movie. It'll be interesting to see how. Yeah, let's how see the difference out. between between the movie that that Disney thought was going to suck and the and the one that they want to succeed. Yeah. All right, and this is the first shot we're getting of the actual arena from an aerial view. That mm -hmm. ring was a ton of fun to use. On his way to the ring right now. California is in kid. An match. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 205 pounds, Kelly Kid. The California kid is on his way to the ring right now. Kid has been on a Sorry, bit I can't of think a, of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. On a bit of a roll He uh, lost on the way to the just defeated table. the that definitely would have made things better. Octane but, Cruiserweight no World Champion in one-on-one -on -one action at last night's show. So he brings that momentum into this matchup. Yes, Phoenix called him the California Raisin. <laughs> well. <laughs> Phoenix Phoenix likes to call everybody weird names. And that's his way of getting under their skin. And he, he's been calling Delvin Pipsqueak all week. A weakling. And, his and Braveheart. And yeah, after that too. I think he started calling him Braveheart after we saw that uh, that flashback last week. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well and, uh, have been amazing. The story would end like Bravehearts. <laughs> I, I, probably. It sounds like Phoenix. It really does. He's uh, He's been causing havoc on the show lately. Showing up unannounced to matches. Attacking people after matches. Attacking people doing matches without calling an ass for disqualification. <laughs> yeah, he's he's pretty good about that. <laughs> like last night, for example. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> and and from this man, Iron, Arthur Duncan. He's he was another one of those. The best thing about last night was that ass tap. Arthur Duncan. <laughs> 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 happened off the air. 
<laughs> that happened in the party when <laughs> we had commentary off. Because <laughs> I had done it ahead it's of time. time. Oh man, I can't. Tonight, guys, and it looks like we have quite the contest coming up. And good luck to those oh, who have to follow this one. You're gonna need it. Well, Arthur, Arthur's been on a bit of a roll lately. He uh, he won a couple matches. And he won that fatal four way that we had last week with the rest of the competitors. So he should he should do pretty well in this match too. Like he got his he had his head busted open in that match. If you go back and watch, he finishes the match and his face is pretty much red. I like that guy's sign. As always, we're in that classic crimson match. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. I like the I like the sign that says maybe, maybe, maybe in in purple. From the crowd. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> well that's weird. Where's the suit? All business tonight, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. But then again, when it's an opportunity like this, it's the best time to be about action. Oh, wait, uh, there it is. In from Hong Kong, China, weighing ah, in at which 190 <laughs> pounds, oh, okay. Johnny Chang. Well, I guess that's what that's what happens when you have a million dollars, apparently. Guys, like this crowd is ready you to can get this uh, night started. They're not the practice only ones black magic. It seems to me yeah, that these superstars want nothing more than to get their hands appears. on one another. More than to a to his suit? His I think suit, so. Suit. Yeah, all right. He morphed into a suit. Huh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. He's trying to intimidate his opponents. <laughs> and, and he has he has enough money apparently. Oh dear god, what happened to his suit? It's gone. What kind of witchcraft is this? And from Los totally Angeles, confused, California, weighing in at 190 pounds, <laughs> Trevor Bell. Yep. And here's his opponent. Trevor Bell. He is the greatest Trevor magician Bell. in the world. Guys, we're getting the night started with an amazing matchup here. You're absolutely right, Cole. In fact, I don't think there's a better way to start this night than with this match right here. Giant Chat, the greatest magician in the world. <laughs> His opponent. Oh look, it's Pepsi Man Reborn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least at least he's uh sporting the Pepsi and not the Path Blue Ribbon. He's not drinking anymore. We got we got him sober now. He he's trying <laughs> trying he to be sober. Yeah, but he, he he's trying to be sober. Trying and. Failing as we've caught him in the back a few hey, times. Hey, 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 A is for quitters. <laughs> he said oh, that before. Impact. Oh! Outrageous athleticism on the hurricane run. This match is off to a pretty good it's start. Like sometimes I use lines over and over and over again. <laughs> sometimes. What a stop! Good. Uh oh. What's it was. Once or twice. How are you going for a DT? Stop in the leg! We're talking about the action that we call it. We're following the action right now. It's, just, it's not a bad match. Oh! Not at all. First down into a flip. I did another stunt. Oh! Ooh, that. That was a vicious power bomb. Oh, clothesline! You guys will see in a minute. What a strike! Stop. Good. Three. <laughs> oh. Trevor Bell and California oh, Kid are fighting right on the money. outside of the ring right now. And they're just not letting up with each other. And Kid, uh oh. Kid thought he was going for something, but Bell reversed it, and Kid went face first on the floor. Oh, man. 
Meanwhile, in the ring, Johnny Chang, nothing doing there with that punch. Completely missed. Gonna have to go back to the dojo. Hold him up on the ropes. <laughs> what a strike! Oh, what a European uppercut by oh, Arthur Duncan. Ooh, two of them. Dang! That's why he's such a such a dangerous competitor. He's got one of those move sets that is just meant to punish. Very difficult position to be in right now. Yeah, situations like this usually and then don't Bell and, really uh, pleasant. This is what makes Bell it and the best in the business. California kid are supposed to be like uh, old tag team partners who have had a falling out. Now they're just fighting in the time. happens outside the ring. Which is why it's the right thing to try to get back in front of you. <laughs> they didn't even care about the other two yeah. competitors. They were doing a good job in that outside. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Because I think they both know control, that guys. they're both the biggest threats in this match. He goes for the cover. It's going to take more than that. Like Bell knows that if he doesn't down. take Kid like out now, down. his chances of winning the match are right fairly now. small. Down Same thing floor. with California Kid. He knows that if Trevor Bell doesn't get eliminated early, he might not even win this match. And both of those men really want that title. And they want that title shot. So they want to they get their hands on the Cruiserweight World Champion, whether that's going to be Delvin McLeod or American Phoenix after tonight. But still, even after tonight. Yeah, and even after tonight, they still have to wait till after no escape. That makes that things very interesting. Yeah, this early, no chance. So they'll earn their contract, but they'll have to wait at least a month he before they can challenge the for the title. Oh! That was a nice Irish whip into the crowd by by Bill. These two are just destroying each other. They still don't care about the triple threat match that's going on on the side. One, two, three. Wow. Well, now Trevor Bell is going to have to care. California oh, kid just got back eliminated. This type of assault. Mm -hmm. This is clearly not the same competitor who started this match in such great shape. Boy, at this point, and it looks like Arthur's going for a pin I'm right now. That pin attempt definitely has his work cut out for him. But Johnny Chang was able to get out of it. Of course, Chang would have been a lot he fresher than the the uh, California kid because. Uh, going to the top. He was in the midst of a triple threat fight, which means a little bit of, little bit less uh, emphasis on beating down and attacking than being in a one-on-one -on -one situation. One, two, only a two count. A seven almost put Bell out. Seven's got this like seven twenty or eight. 850 or almost a 900 flip that he does. Right to the back of the neck. He's as his finisher, now. it's pretty He's insane. Well and he actually just hit it. Yeah, very Nothing insane. good happens outside the ring, which is why I love it when guys He's not afraid there. to show off Things his athleticism. Now, oh! And oh, also, gosh, it's not afraid to get in a, a fight and be double teamed, apparently. That was a nasty kick. He's got the shoulders down. Yeah, going for a pin. One. The count. Oh, only one count. Oh boy, he is rolling. Seven misses. He's going for something right now. Arthur's in trouble. Beautiful technique. Nailed it. But that was just 
too much chaos going on right now between these four. We got another double team. Using that kick again. Mm -hmm. Seven. Not letting up. Oh, he turns it around. Well, we're going for a power Here's bomb into a pin. Easily yeah, broken up by Johnny Chain, but I don't know why you would break a pin up in the elimination match. Guess he just wants all the glory for himself. Oh no, leaving himself yes. open here. Yeah, God, I can't think of a worse place for him to be right, right now. now. Compared to himself, even from the like how you said, he's not going to be okay. So, if I were to, then you never fight me. Here it grew. It's me right here. Very true. This is his opportunity. Oh, he's got him down. Here we go. Here's One, two, only a two count. Take more than that. I think you were right, Renton. He did want that boy for himself. He's too quick for him there. And he's got to be careful. He's in the ring with some fairly dangerous he cruiserweights. Once again. He might have a lot of money, but this one's over. That, his shoulders are down. oh, he's going for a pin. One, two, two three. three. Wow! I can't believe I just saw that. Johnny Chang just eliminated seven. I thought for sure that. Chang wouldn't even Boy, get an elimination this in this match. Oh, I, I thought he'd be the first one eliminated. Yeah, he did prove me wrong. <laughs> Help, he earned a shot by proving me wrong. I put him in a match against Bonnie Arthur and he actually put on a good match. I thought Arthur was just going to destroy him. Look, I'll build Arthur right now. Well, that didn't work. You know, as they, as they say here in Octane, Jobbers matter, apparently. They matter too much He's on this show. One, two, two three. three. And Trevor Bell eliminated Arthur Duncan, and we are down to two competitors now. Trevor Bell and Johnny oh, Chang. Exactly. So Who wants it more? What a clothesline, and another clothesline, and a single leg drop kick by Bell. And it looks like Johnny Chang is bleeding. I said, thank you, and we have ourselves a winner, Trevor Bell winning the matchup. As Bell now has earned that title shot at our next pay per view. In a very good match. In a very good match. And that pay per view is going to be Redemption. Man, this looks great. Trevor Bell versus here. whoever the Cruiserweight Champion is at that time. He really put on a great show. We haven't figured out the match stipulation yet. But that is the match that we have planned. Here is your winner, Trevor Bell. Trevor Bell, Big win here. congratulations. The show. Yeah, the performance put you forth are in that match tells the me number one contender. somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. And your Pepsi what a sponsorship to is safe. Don't go anywhere, folks. Mm -hmm. We're just getting started. <laughs> you get to keep your Pepsi sponsorship. <laughs> Cha -ching. Yeah, going to our next matchup. The wait is over. This one's for all the marbles, and it's coming up next. The heavyweight championship. Uh, so something I forgot to put in the comments section is normally the show is edited and we are live today so certain matches I will jump in and play like this one right here because I have I have plans for the show so if I can change the tide of a, a match I'm gonna try at least 
So in this match, I will be playing as Demolition. And I will be trying to win the match. Here comes the axe! Here comes the smasher! <laughs> <laughs> I should make that his intro song. <laughs> oh, I gotta go on... I gotta... Disaster. I should make that his intro music. That'd be funny. <laughs> I really should. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to be playing this matchup. Uh, it is for the World Heavyweight Championship here on Octane. And don't worry. The difficulty is set on Legendary. So I have like a 30% chance of actually winning the match. <laughs> My chances, my chances will improve the less competitors I have to face. Weighing in at 320 pounds, dynamite. Yes, dynamite. Oh, I should make his song. Um, D N T. I should make that I can't a song. Think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough mm -hmm. match to follow. That, that that's gonna be a song moving forward. I just mm -hmm. gotta gotta go find it. Very dangerous competitor, Demolition is. He is the the former Octane Heavyweight World Champion. <clears throat> oh, it is a good thing music is not playing. Music doesn't play on these streams. So I'm getting that music glitch where it plays one song and then it plays mm -hmm. another song well, from a previous a match. With the previous yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting this entrance right now, which I worked really hard on. I love this entrance. This is one of my favorite entrances that I've made. Um, and then I'm also getting money, 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 money. <laughs> so apparently, NT is now a millionaire. He somehow... Well acquired wealth and mm -hmm. maybe that's how he was able oh, to afford that road it came with me and I one entrance how about that <laughs> mm -hmm. exactly the flame king himself and introducing the, flame king the challenger <laughs> from Wales, weighing in at 265 pounds <laughs> it's the burger king King Eddie. Hey, look at that. He got a crown on. What a great he match does have a crown on. Night, guys. <laughs> it kind of looks like the Burger King crown, actually. Now that I think of it. It does kind of look like it, though. I'm just saying. And it's my creation, too. Oh, man. Burger King, Burger King, Burger King. He's the Burger King. <clears throat> At least he doesn't have a creepy face like the Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Burger King has the Burger King has that has that face of good lord. This man's a pedo, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here comes the challenger, or not the challenger, the champion. Those two are the challengers. Here comes the champion, ladies and gentlemen. Dougal McLeod, older brother to Delvin. And he is the world. Or sorry, the Octane Heavyweight World Champion. And introducing the champion from Glasgow, Scotland, 
Weighing in at 240 pounds. Byron, if there's been a more highly anticipated triple threat match in recent memory, I can't champion. recall it. Me neither, Michael. Given the, the three competitors one, involved Duncan here, I think it's Matt safe to say that heading four. in, this is among the most eagerly anticipated triple threat matches in recent memory. Dougal is definitely ready for this match tonight. He has been training and he has been saying how or talking about how nobody can defeat him. He has been undefeated up to this point, I believe. Actually, no. He hasn't been undefeated. He was defeated by American Phoenix on the first on the first episode. But since then, he's been undefeated. Having lost to a, in, in his words, to a cruiserweight, didn't go very well <laughs> with his little brother. Duh. Uh, Delvin was not too happy about that statement, but losing to a cruiserweight fired him up. And he plans on holding on to that belt for as long as he can. We'll see how he does moving forward. That could forward. be his mindset. Yes, Dougal. <clears throat> Dougal That's not his mindset, then I, then I don't know why he's a champion. It's very true. Yeah, Dougal is a true champion. He's very prideful. He does not want to lose that belt. He's looking around at the crowd right now. He's kind of taking in this moment. A very proud champion in Dougal McLeod. There is that gorgeous, amazing belt. So oh, referee, sorry, shoot, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it is. That belt looks awesome. I, I put a lot of a lot of pride and joy into that belt. <laughs> Kicking off this triple threat match here. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, Demolition hard to believe Saxton gets paid for it. We're going at it right now, but. Ooh, what impact. Dude. All three of these men are just throwing Wait. punches. Oh! The slam by Enti. Vicious strike. He's asking all over the place. Yeah, these guys are just, just not letting up. He's got to make it him back up to B. But he's not appearing too much for wear. At least not yet anyway. Oh, I hate to say it, but if he doesn't change his game plan soon, these two guys are going to tear him limb from limb. And Dougal is just tearing the competition apart right That's now. That's how you wear down your opponent. Damn it. Demolition just looks like he's dazed. He needs to get back up and get in this fight. There we go. He is back in the fight now. It's Demolition and Inti face off. In the offseason, these guys actually became friends. You gotta believe this one's over. Demolition I know uh, ended up but I just saving the legendary beast a few times over the summer. The comes into tonight, and they both have momentum. a common enemy in the Dark Trio. Beautiful technique. That, that's what's kind oh, of man, inverted brought him out. into the, the fold of the legendary beast. Very true. Referee barely had time Brent's to begin to Demolition just no slow that pin. So we're gonna do more to me than that if you want me to. When this guy's on, look out! Kick out! A bad place to be for the challenger. The champ clearly getting the best of him here. This demolition's got his hands on the champion right now. I don't like his chance. Be it. Man, I knew this was going to be a closely fought battle, but I didn't realize it was going to be just go for the pin. Not even, a, a not even count, a three, not even a one that. count. It's take more than that. As we say in the trade, guys, the monitor area These two the now room is likely so are in control of this match. There are plenty of superstars. Into out of the equation for now. The of this match.
Why is he standing in the corner? There he goes. Take me down, damn it. To Byron's point, Fine. there are several competitors on the roster who can make a case for being oh. Oh, what a headbutt. Guess he no just didn't want to backstab his friend. Like he goes for the cover. That was nowhere near a well, three count. He just powered out. Not there. even a three count. Nobody not even a one count. Pace of a match. Quite like huh. this guy. <laughs> He's looking at it. NT going for a slam. Oh! This one's over, guys. I think that slam was a nasty slam. <laughs> Dang it, Phoenix! This. <laughs> this made me crack up. <laughs> Enjoy the matchup, and here you are on the chat board. Um, McLeod will lose here, like, <laughs> like when we lose tonight. You sound like you, you sound like your manager. Surprised you're not letting your manager do all the talking for you. Sure, that's not Bobby Heenan whispering in your ear there. American Phoenix. Is that he still appears to be in a better place than his opponent? If you listen to him, he He's can go to the top. Exactly, Jamil. Oh God. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do. Here's his moment, Michael. And here's going for a pin. Oh. And we don't have a new champion. We have a defending champion. Congratulations to Dougal McLeod. Thank you, American Phoenix, for the distraction. You just helped the McLeod win their title tonight, just so you know. I was trying to make him lose, goddammit. <laughs> This part very well. American <laughs> Phoenix causing what he what and he this said is what how he ended it. Phoenix with a distraction and demolition ate a pedigree, and this match is over. Ladies and gentlemen, you're a winner, and Here's still winner. the Octane and Heavyweight World Champion. Dougal McLeod. Maybe he actually is the chosen one that JoJo speaks of. We'll have to wait and see. Can Dougal take the heavyweight division where it needs to be? Here on Octane. Dougal actually said at the beginning of the year that uh, he wanted to uh, to take this the next is the match. division it's to the bad new heights. Against so the legends. Big time. This should be interesting. Now this match should be a good one. We've got two very, very uh, Tough tag teams that have been in a tag team war of sorts. <clears throat> so we have the Dark Trio against the Legendary Beasts with the Octane Tag Team Championships on the line. Tonight we could see new champions. It looks like Suicune might be sporting a new look for this fight. He's been uh, slowly... I've noticed that over the last couple weeks he's slowly been... changing and evolving. No pun intended there. No Pokemon reference intended there. <coughs> Somebody's falling asleep with the mic. <coughs> I've been no, trying. No, not paying attention. Her, her. Damn it! <laughs> I've been trying to get. 
<laughs> I've been trying. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Tag team action coming up right now. Third match of the night. The Octane Tag Team Championships are on the line. And on their way to the ring. Two thirds of the Dark Trio. Aaron Dark. And Dominic Voorhees. And look! I got Dark's name right this time! <laughs> I actually mm -hmm. called him Aaron Dark! Which is good! It is You're good! Learning. I am learning! I didn't call him Damien like I've been calling him. <laughs> oh god. Mm-hmm. Kind of like the first time I did a As we get ready for this tag Voorhees team match, match me, against uh, you like in this one? Demolition. On, I accidentally like called him Jason, but I was doing pre-recorded audio, so I went in and I fixed it. WWE has seen in quite some time. Uh, that, was, no that, was, that was fun. One over the other. This should be a very good matchup. These two teams have been putting on good matches all year. I'd like to give credit to Mr. Odds Cornet for the Dark Trio. These are awesome cause, sir. You did an amazing job. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shout out to you. Shout out to your arts. You get the first... You get the first shout out of the night. The first shout out of the night, people! First shout out of the night going to Mr. Odds Cornet. And here they come, ladies and gentlemen, the Octane Tag Team Champions, NT and Suicune. Now, these two have not lost those belts. They've been holding on to them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you guys actually hear the music? <laughs> I'm just asking, guys, if like you can actually hear the music on the stream, that's amazing. Started. They're not the only ones, Cole. It seems to me that uh, these superstars nothing want end. nothing just, more than to get their hands on this. Okay, <laughs> he, he figured out that I was using the, the same music as the entrance, then. Ah, smart man. No, I was doing the Pokemon battle music. Ah, uh, oh. I thought you were doing Undisputed Era music, but Pokemon battle music, if that's what it sounds like, hell, I gotta find that. It sounds... Does it sound similar to the Undisputed Era music? No. No? Oh. I was doing the music that you get when you enter battle. Hmm? Oh! Dibbing oh, that's... Okay, Rashad what are you talking about now? Aaron, Darren, on the way to the uh oh. Ring. Jojo, drunk! Josh, drag it for you! Aaron, Darren, Jojo, drunk! Oh, I wish I was Rashad, Jojo right now. Aaron, Darren, <laughs> and their opponents. <laughs> Meaning, Chuck Chuck. Would you like to recant that statement? I get no respect around here, I tell you, I get no respect. Don't move, don't speak, don't even blink. 
Oh man, I can't blink? Dang it, Michael Cole. Can I blink yet? You heard him say oh. don't even blink, right? Dang it. <laughs> yeah, I try to ignore my call. Ah, I try to it's too. Only, got and here we go. This tag team match is going to be normal. heated. To say the least. <laughs> oh, when I think of tag teams that can make a oh, major I, impact, I didn't know in the WWE, uh, I absolutely think of these I mean, two teams. I didn't know Sweetkin knew the All American Slam. Gut red suplex, making it look easy. That's not gonna make American Phoenix very happy. And Sweetkin off trying to uh, take control early in this matchup. Trying to give the Beast as much of an advantage as they can. They know how dangerous Dark and Borgies can be. Oh, oh geez. Here he is again, ladies and gentlemen, American Phoenix. Copyright infringement. What? What is copyright infringement? Those are, those are custom images. Hold off the internet. They didn't have any copyrights to them. I can always. I'll, I'll draw my own. I'm actually a fairly good artist. I could, I could probably draw my own logos if I had the right software. How do you copyright a move? Yeah, exactly. How do you copyright a move? Oh man, a nasty STO. I'd like, I'd like to hear an answer to that. Let's see if he says anything on the, on the chat board for it. Probably minds want to know. Oh, yes, inquiring minds want to know. Very inquiring. Mm-hmm. Just like many of the other uh, mysteries here, uh, here in our lovely universe. Oh, man, what a strike. oh, really? It's copyrighted because it's your move. Ah, that's that's really, so really ingenious. Yeah, very logical, right there, Phoenix. It's copyrighted oh, because it's your here. move. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, you might want to think about getting his partner in there. He's hitting the vodka before his match? Still, but this could be a <clears> oh, God. Phoenix, you're in the main this event. You can't be getting drunk. You have Either a title for him. Wow, I thought he was Either a that or he's a good This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, man. The challenger not looking good right now. Either one if fits. They win this match, either really one fits really well in this situation. This is not the time to be a hero. To keep oh, this match from slipping away, apparently he was able to take a break. convince the isn't trending in the right direction for him. Convince the change in momentum Octane higher ups fast. to uh, to change oh, his his main event matchup, and somehow got a manager out there with him. How he got Bobby Heenan to be his manager for tonight's match, I have no idea. Something they'll be asked until the end of time. Yeah. Reverses that one. In off the tag. Hmm. Hey, even then, we still Harsh impact. Oh, still won't know. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Just like how many looks does it take this match? His partner looked out. extremely confident. <laughs> the beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire run. I think of the it opposition probably depends attack. on the, a tag the strength the of the person's you saliva who's trying to get to the center. Gosh, Jack has to has of fight left, yeah, I know. I'm being scientific. <laughs> 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 It, it varies. It yeah, in the middle of the stream. It, it's it varies in certain situations. It looks to be a bit of here. <laughs> How do you do that? It's I my know, stream. Michael, Dang it! It's okay. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. 
We're in here having fun. <laughs> We're in here having fun. That's the important part. Uh huh. It's my hero. That's that's the whole idea of of a show like this. We get on here, we have fun. That's that's why I, I'm why doing this live. I have pay per I play a few matches. I, I stream most of the matches. Oh God! Can he finish the job? Face to the turnbuckle. There's a lot of prayer involved in some matches. Yes, there is. There's a lot of As prayer involved. <laughs> <laughs> I have desired outcomes, and these are live matches. Yes! Come on. Ah, shit. Yes! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! I need this to happen. They can't have the titles for more than six months. Oh, yes. This is very biased announcing. <laughs> That's the oh, point man. of these of these live shows. I get to be as biased as I want. Career. Don't end his career. Just, <laughs> just win the match. <laughs> One, two, damn it! <laughs> we almost had a three count there. God, dang it! I'm breaking my own rules. If you look at the. <laughs> Look at the bottom, it says enjoy the show and please keep the comments PG while I just look my own rules. <laughs> yes! <laughs> you can hear you can hear how upset the crowd is and you can hear how how happy I am. I, I really, really, really Oh god dang it. Oh, I left their tag team, their their third partner, out of this matchup on purpose because the last time I had the Beast facing these two, the last time I had the Beast facing the Dark Trio, freaking Inti gets in and they do a triple power bomb, and the referee of course let it happen, and then they got a pinfall. And here you go, odds. The most overused tag team finisher move in the world. Oh, oh thank God, he kicked out. Decade, more like the past century. Yes, the most overused stomp you used in the century. Oh, speaking of what we're using, stunner! But he's got a chance to use that much anymore. Well, apparently the legendary beast have have superpowers, and that's called ticking me off. Oh, they're supposed to lose this match. Well, I did, did you did you notice that they used two of the most overused moves in the entire show? Oh, come on, don't do this. Don't do the apron glitch. This is the fun part about live shows. You get apron glitches and all sorts of fun stuff. Count up, count up. A count out Down victory? That would be funny. Hey, hey, hey. A count out victory would be funny as long as the Dark Trio are the ones that go over with it. it up, They're supposed to be going over in this match. Aw, oh, shit. Oh, Damn it, Suicune. There are those slaps. The, match, guys. the triple slaps to the face. You gotta be careful. You can get a concussion after those. Of the most dangerous open palm strikes in the entire cruiserweight division. Well, I I and here are the most next. dangerous feet and the most dangerous kicks from Reiku. Oh yeah, keep pandering to the crowd, Reiku. It's a great idea. <laughs> Actually, that's what I kind of wanted you to do, not have a comeback. Oh, Jesus. What a super kick. 
No, go for the His go for the tank. You down. have him down. What are you yeah, doing? You <laughs> God damn it! Okay. All right. He's down. Oh. Okay. If you're gonna hit a finisher, it makes sense. The challenger in some oh. big trouble here. Unless this thing turns around here. What an atrocious so thing to do! Biting his hand. Quick thinking to avoid that one. Oh. I didn't see anything. The monitor went out. He's not going to go uh -huh. Sure. Sure. Well, he he's making a statement. Oh hell. Apparently we're having some uh, production truck issues. Technical difficulties here. I just don't know. This is you want to know. Not so fast. Very nice. And I have a vision. And we are back to the matchup. Oh, what impact! Oh, this is just paid out. See, this is just me this time. He needs to find a way to create. Dominic Voorhees. This could be it. One, two. Oh, only a two count. We almost had new champions there. We almost had new Octane Tag Team champions. Very close, and and Beetle almost cheated. Almost. We almost jumped out of his seat. To the seat and pulled a Daniel Bryan. Yes. Yes. Just yes! As yes! The, the out of my desire! Oh shit. No, 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 no! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Aaron Dark. Thank you for breaking that up. He's not going to like this. I need... No, 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 no. I need heal champions. He not face champions. <laughs> I have too many faces as champion right now. Too many good guys. I need some villains. My tag team division is a perfect place for it. One, two, and it, and Dark breaks the pin up again. These two teams are just throwing everything at each other right now. Yeah, MVP of this, MVP of this match. Uh, this is definitely the uh, show stealer. Right here, this this could eclipse the rest of the matches. Hopefully not. But these these four men are putting on a clinic. I I, I think that uh, Dominic Voorhees needs to get a tag. He's been in the match for a while now. Oh well, it looks like the Dark Trio has a response to the most overused move as they're just going to use it on the Legendary Beasts. Uh -huh. As we have a suplex to the outside. It's the Universal <laughs> Superplex. Brought to you by CPW. When you want overused, <laughs> oh, you gotta take the suplex. And sweeping gets thrown into the steps, gets a reversal. Wants it more. When this guy's on, look out. Has now thrown into the ring. Bulldog. he's with the bulldog. Yes. Two minutes later, my phone decides to tell me I have a notification. <laughs> of course. And Voorhees with an elbow and some punches. The enemy hits this. This one's over. And Suicune going it's for a power bomb. Oh oh One, two, and Dark with the save. Look out, look out. This, this match is going to continue. This is it. Here he goes. Oh, sweet Coon missed oh, there. That, those two axe handles connected. <laughs> Spear into the corner. It could be over. Uh oh, looks like a hip attack. Hip attack in the corner. Now, the strongest slaps in all of the Cruiserweight division. And Dominic Voorhees is able to counter. 
and he sends Suicune straight into his knee, and Suicune is now bleeding. Nobody controls the pace of a match. We got a bleed up. Oh shit, we got two bleeders. Look at Look at Aaron Dark. And we got a pinfall. One, two, three. We have new tag team champions, ladies and gentlemen. And Beetle and Rejoice. And I am super ecstatic right now. We have new tag team champions. Congratulations to the new champion. Congratulations oh, to the Dark Trio. And Aaron Dark and Dominic Voorhees. And yes, I had to think about that. I almost called him Damien. <laughs> Here are your winners, and the new Congratulations to them. <laughs> and the first match of the night comes to an end in three yeah, the new fashion. Wow, they are. Congratulations to like them. That, you've done something right. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. And we are headed on to our next match of the night. And let's look at the results here. Let's see how everybody did. Looks like Suicune is starting to get a little aggressive. Plus five there. Dark's a little less disrespectful, but more aggressive. Hmm, Reiki doesn't care. And Reiki and Suicune are now our new number one contenders. And we're going to head to our next match. We've been waiting a long time for this. The championship and is up for grabs. This is right that here, first next. iron match of the night. We have one night. of our breakout talents against an imposing adversary. Can't ask for more than a title match. For the Octane Women's Championship. Yes. The women's title is on the line. All right, let's get this match underway. <clears throat> and this will and this will and this match will definitely definitely go above the stars. Mhm. Mm oh, yes it will. And there above will the Definitely be some favoritism on my end. <laughs> As I am going from rooting for the heels to now rooting for a, a young starlet that we have on our on our show. We'll see how she fares against the the current champion Nebula. And when the match starts we are going to see a pause scene the following contest is uh, because I do match. need to turn on the, the HUD so we can see the count for the Iron Man match um I don't think I think the counter is there normally it is but I have it turned off um I have it turned off right now for when I do my for when I do my edited shows because I play a fairly good amount of the matches just to try and get better matches out of them and I try yeah, to hide alrighty I, I try to hide the uh, HUD as much as I can make it look as look as uh, real as possible I am now the party owner. Congratulations. Hey, that arena is badass. Guys, we're getting the is night started with back? an amazing matchup here. You're absolutely right, Cole. In fact, I don't think there's a better way to start this <laughs> night than with this match right here. Oh, 
All right. Well, this is a very glorious entrance. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> he certainly, in this matchup, is going to be reaching for the stars. Yes, she is. I'm not going to be able to multitask right now. I would love to. <laughs> but here goes my multitasking skills. You know why I said those multi that. Those multitasking skills are dead. Yep. My multitasking skills is while well, calling a stream and watching a stream at the same time are going out the window for this matchup. <laughs> and there is Nebula with her newly uh, changed Octane Women's Championship. She won the title and decided it was time to get serious. Got rid of all of Kitty's emblems. Made sure you couldn't tell that Kitty was the champion before her. The title is now strictly business with those those diamonds and everything Gosh, what better way to start the night off than with this one I can't think of a better match to kick the night off Michael in fact we she is the current yet, Octane Women's be a tough match world to champion this Nebula is making her way to the ring right now Nebula Starlet one on one for that Octane Women's Championship. And this match is starting right now. Introducing the challenger. Well, after from JoJo Hollywood, ruins everything. Charlotte. <laughs> Her name is Starlet, not she Charlotte. Ruin everything. She ruins most things. Introducing the <laughs> champion. From out of this world, she is the women's champion, the Phantom. The Phantom Nebula. Dun, dun, dun. Plant your butts in those seats and get ready. The current women's champion who destroyed five other competitors to win that title in one night maybe it was a strategy being the first eliminated in the battle royal before the gauntlet match began Singles action wow. is she was able to get through every I competitor what's going to happen I just be ready for anything sometimes that's all you can do Here we 15 go. minutes what the hell this is supposed to be time. a 30 minute Iron Man match Betty I know, this could be a blessing in disguise. Hey, it could be. What's that? Oh, what impact! Oh. That's right. Pause screen. I forgot. Where is it? <coughs> options. Match options. There we go, now we can see the pinfalls. Oh, well that was there, now it's gone. Walking around the city earlier today, guys. What an arm drag by Nebula. Was this title match. Well, she was off to a very strong start to this match. And she is putting on a clinic right now. 
Will Starlet be able to put on put on some offense? There we go. Now she's attacking. Starlet going for something. A suplex in the middle of the ring. Byron spent the morning and now Starlet working on the back of Nebula. Went to the gym. Matt, Looks like she's going to send her to the ropes. What went for a back chop? Nebula countered. Oh, and she gets out Starlet with an Irish whip into the corner. Nothing doing. As Nebula was able to get out of the way. Guys, Nebula, Irish whip, Starlet into the corner right now. There. And Starlet fire. with the counter. As Starlet has taken oh, control of this matchup. That knee is a lethal weapon. We're looking at complete Nebula domination here. Going oh, back. Your face. oh, what a kick. Starlight is out of it right now. Oh, no, it looks like Nebula well. might be going for a submission. Oh, oh my no, God, never mind. So She's working on the legs. Breaker. I don't know who your sources are, Corey, but it wouldn't it's surprise really. me at all. To it is, especially since one of Starlight's finishers is a figure, figure four leg walk. You damage your legs. It makes it harder for her to get that submission move in. And Nebula's going for something crazy right now. What is she thinking? Oh my god! Coast to coast! Nebula just hit coast to coast on Starlet and she's dragging Starlet to the center of the ring. I hope I didn't take too much out of Nebula. There's a pin now. Ref goes for the count. One, two, and three. And Look Nebula gets the first fall in this matchup. Can Starlet mount a comeback and stay in this match? It's so Nebula. Nebula started it off you strong. This one's over. Will Starlet be able be able to do what she's been showing she us she's capable of lately? One, two, and a Still kick out by Starlet this time. And Nebula Nebula is trying to Trying to just no, she's stay in control, but Starlet with the counter. And a flurry of punches from and Starlet. This might be it. Oh my. And a neck breaker. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Oh, Nebula. Staying strong. Not today. Starlet with the knee to the back. She's got Nebula up. She's going for something. What a DDT. Starlet's going to go for a pin here. One, two. Not enough damage done to Nebula. Nebula was able to kick out. And... Nebula we'll with a strong punch. Nebula taking control in this matchup. That has gotta be it. With, with that the neck breaker. One, two, and a kick out. You, was kick out at 2.9 by Starlet. Last minute. The Looks like Nebula turn has pop, something up her sleeve right now. It's going to the top rope. Incoming. What a drop kick from the top rope by, by the current champion. She is just putting on a clinic right now. She completed that sequence. This could be it. Nebula going for her version of of old school. DDT off the top ropes. One. Two. She might just be running on instincts Starlet this point. able to kick out. Everyone else, Cole. She's got her where she Very wants close. her. A very resilient Starlet. Going through She's all those at it. finishers by Nebula. Oh, no, what impact. That's it. That's what she needed. Nebula going for a pin now. For One, 
two, three, Nebula, two nothing right now in this matchup. You have to wonder how much more she has left in the tank. These women are so evenly matched right now, guys. I can very easily see this match go. Looking for the exclamation point. Stop the it. There. Fighting back. She better do something fast. And she breaks but Nebula able to get out. That was impressive. She's able to get out of the way there. And Starlet. And she turns it around on her. Almost getting in control, but Nebula you can see the with the clothesline into the corner. Right now. This could be it. Drop kick. Oh. I, I don't know what Nebula's thinking there, but oh, no. we know what she was definitely is. thinking for a minute. Because we got a big swing in the middle of the ring now. And a little jig in the middle of the ring before doing the swing. I can't Apparently. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Oh, man, what a move. And the oh, crowd appreciates that here. song. One, two, and the three. The ball. The Nebula now has three pins over Starlet. She's not looking so good here, guys. She's going to need to find a way to fend off three some of this nine. offense and quickly. Oh, man, this match is so evenly matched. It's unbelievable. Any one of these women can win at this point. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Oh, man, she's rolling now. She comes up big with the reversal. you got to believe this one's over. Now, the champ being put to the test in a major way. Her championship reign may very well be reaching its end here tonight. Man, Nebula. Point, even the slightest mistake could cost one of these Nebula has back. six minutes left. All she has to do is hang on. Ooh, the first STO. Shoulders down. Going for another pin. No, she's got a tremendous amount Only of one count so that time. She gave Starlet enough time to recover. But she's thinking about going for something. She does. She only has six minutes to turn it around. That's how you put an exclamation point on the air. The oh, boy. What is keeping this competitor going? Looks like there's some more fight left in her. She might have it. Nebula going for a submission now. She's starting to fight out, guys. Later than that, she scores a ball. And now Nebula's up for nothing. God damn it. <laughs> Trying to call the match. I can't do it. Uh, God damn it, Nebula. <sighs> You're not doing what I want you to do, God damn it. She reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Supposed to lose. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop reversing. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> You were supposed to give up. Oh. Ah. You were supposed to give it up, you stupid bitch. A second time. Hey, she does not want to give up this title. Uh oh. This is it. <laughs> oh, what a DDT in the center of the match. ring. This one is over. This match was over from the start. <laughs> This nebula is just basking in the fact that she is destroying Starlet right now. But you can't blame That's Starlet. She, the 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 she tried. Got the reversal. Endless knee strikes. She did try. It looks like she's going for a natural selection again. Natural selection. She's got it now. And that one could do it. That could do it. Let's look at this one more time, Cole. Because we're seeing an endless array of replays from the game. That must have been a, a fairly hard we're hit. One, on two, three. Starlight gets her first pin. The champ with really got right back up from that. Like a freaking down. machine. Really oh, and Starlight's going night. for another Shot. one. To see her absorb so Could she get another pin? The champ's in a bad way now, Cole. And we're getting another one of those really Let's long replay segments. So effective, Cole. <laughs> the extremely long replay, which gives your opponent plenty of time to get up before you can pin them. Uh -huh. 
pin. And she goes for a pin. One, two, three. Oh, out. only two. Nebula. Nebula oh, just barely spot. kicked out of that Tough last pin. It well, looks like Starlet right went on a roll a little too late in this matchup. Uh-oh. I mean, she's flat out of gas out there. Nebula oh, with a double arm DDT now. in the center of the ring. This could be it. Gotta like the champ chances and the now. power of the champion. This Nebula goes for a pin. One, One two, two, three. three. Nebula is just destroying right. in this Iron Man Looks to me, guys, like she may have underestimated her opponent here tonight, and now and she's paying for it. Maybe they're thinking of something right now. Unless, of course, oh she boy, up with something big here. She just deadlifted Starlet wow, over the top rope and into the awesome. ring. And we have less. We have now. We are now less than three minutes away. Less than three from minutes from the ending of this match. From the end of the match. And Starlet has just gone from having a chance at the beginning to almost to being out of it, pretty much. She's, she doesn't even stand a chance. If, if you want to go get some popcorn or go grab a drink, now is the time. You have two and a half minutes. We pretty much know who's going to win this it match now. It feel like an eternity uh -huh. inside that ring right it now for these It is pretty much mathematical at this point. Starlet has to get five pins or submissions. And right now, <laughs> it's not looking like that's going to happen. Nebula is just destroying Starlet. This is a very one-sided matchup. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Very one -sided. The challenger looking absolutely exhausted. I mean, we're at least getting to see what Nebula can do in the ring. You can't teach the type Starlet of able to kick here. out before Unreal. a one. What a match. Maybe she has a little bit of fight. Oh, this never mind. Wow, this <laughs> never mind. This is a training <laughs> session for, for Nebula. Starlet is just wow. the training dummy. <laughs> she is she's she's getting completely worked over right now. She better do something fast. Ha! Starlight able to get out of that submission. But uh oh. There may be no beating her here. She's supine on the ropes. What's Nebula thinking? Right yeah, I'd on the face. Looking for the win. And Nebula is gonna oh, finish oh, Starlight. So much off. for crowning a new champion tonight. With 45 Good seconds one. left. Close call. Starlet <laughs> able to kick over. out. Where was that 10 minutes ago? Where, where was that fight 10 minutes ago? She shows Clearly of out of the She's picture. A lot more than that. And I don't think that's going to help you She's at all. But <laughs> this time I think she's just going for shock and awe. Nebula is this pretty much all light. she has. That is pretty much all she has left at this point. Back in from the floor. Something happened and Starlight did not bring her A game. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still now, let's take a look back at these the Octane Women's World Champion, Nebula. <clears throat> wow. That was a massacre. Yeah. All right, no, no problem, man. Right. No problem. No problem. It's all good. That was that was brutal. That was just very, very one-sided. It was not supposed to be one-sided. It's okay though. It just shows how dominating Nebula actually is. Man, oh man, look at that. It might drive me to go into the fridge and pull out a beverage. <laughs> Every single minute of this one was memorable. Can't it's say. Be a long night, then. 
Can't say exactly what that beverage is. Here is your but I would beer, like to... Beer, 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 it's not... Champion. It's definitely the not Phantom. fat tire amber ale beer. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long. <laughs> I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. Definitely not. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. Congratulations to Nebula on winning that belt, by the way. And being the the fighting champion that she is. Mainly because Delvin forces her into matches, but that's just she she tends to try and avoid title matches at all costs. I don't really know what happened. Last year she was a fighting champion. This year she could care less and that belt hurts. And we are headed to our next matchup. Buckle this up because we next have a match is a grudge match. This place. I am taking no part taking in this one. Force. <laughs> I am not going to fight in this match. I'm going to let it play out however it plays out. I do have a team that I'm rooting for here. I'm going to make that very clear. There is an outcome that I want, but I will try and call this one down the line if I can. Without giving away the, the ending that I want. <clears throat> Don't know what that would be. Nope. Can't say right now. I, I can let Just you know. Oh, what that would be. Mm -mm. I'll let you know after the show. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you. I'll, I'll tell you what the what the outcome is supposed to be. Hopefully it hopefully it happens. I mean, either way, I've got I've got a storyline to to back up either team winning or losing but there is w one of the teams on here that I need to win uh -huh. we'll see if uh, this match goes the way I need it to unlike the oh wait no the last tag match did I thought it wouldn't that's right but more nerve wracking watching the matches without without being in control of the outcome but I think it's also funner for the audience too because you guys get to actually get emotion out of me. So when I call my matches, I'm very, uh... robotic. I could call the match like this the entire time in monotone. Without any emotion, this move happens. That move happens. But we're gonna focus on the actual matches right now. And this match is based on a grudge match we have going on right now. Last night on the preview show, these two attacked Kitty and Jin before the match. Yes. And it would end up costing them that matchup. And they also, under masks, in the first week, attacked They also attacked Kitty under their masks at the beginning of the season in the first episode. Although we didn't hear about it until the third episode. Their attacking of Kitty did cause her to not be able to get a title shot at the Women's Championship. This is one of the women who were involved Japan, in attacking Kitty. Takako Inoue. She is a very dangerous, dangerous competitor. By herself. Byron, what can we expect to see from these two With teams the here tonight? Partner, or even more dangerous duo. Put on an absolute clinic in tag team competition. That's how good these teams are.
Here comes your tag team partner. Who's their tag team partner, Tina Ferrari? When these two showed up, the entire women's tag division was pretty much put on notice. And the tag division now takes itself a lot serious, more serious. And speaking of the tag team division, next week the tag team champions the women's tag team champions Maria Morales and Ramon Ramirez will be in action. And her partner, by way of Tokyo, Japan, the Psycho. It's time for our first match of the night, guys. And it and looks Tina like Ferrari we have a is making her way down to the ring right now. Good luck to those who have to follow this one. You're going to need it. Apparently, she's a super heel. Ah oh, yes, her and uh Super Heel, Super Heel, the Super Heel. <laughs> her and her and Takako both. Super Heel, Super Heel, the Super Heel. <laughs> oh, that would be evident from from the attack, uh, the attack last night. They viciously assaulted these two before their match. And, Kitty. and Jen Corso and Kitty are on their way to the ring right now. What a great match we have here to I think start we're having night, production guys. truck oh, issues right. again. Yeah. Unlike well like last night. Last night they were. Jen was very focused. And Kitty was the hyper one. Must have talked about something last backstage, trying to hype each other up for this match. They look like they're going to be working very well together tonight. And it looks like it'll be these two superstars and kicking off, off to tonight. a strong start All with that slam. All the tag teams out there hoping to one day make it to the big stage. Better be Let's watching this Jim match can with do a anything in this match because you can bet this is going to be a lesson in how it's done. Harsh impact. Jen working on the arm of Takako in a way right now. Able to prevent her from we know landing anything right now. Jane going for a submission early in the match. Takako is too close to the ropes, though. What a slap by Tina. Backing Jen out. Opponent off the ropes. Big time impact from way Big double team by Kitty. There's the tag. And Jen. And Kitty with the spear. What a stop! Good grief! This really has been an amazing and Kitty was stomping away at her opponent right now. Anybody, especially given how stacked the card is. Tina was able to get through it. From and Kitty with a Frankensteiner. Tina rolls out of it. Looking a little dazed here. Yeah, she's definitely not looking herself right now, Cole. Tina Ferrari the able to avoid high, the attack. Saying, and it's been that way since Kitty. Well before the doors even opened. And she sends Kitty in the middle of the corner, but Kitty gets out. And a slam in the middle of the ring by Kitty. I thought she was going to go for a pin and decided not to. And her on Akana. Say, those guys at WWE.com do a great job. And a monkey foot. 
kind of into the center. She's got that. Veronica on her. Veronica on Same thing. Look at <laughs> Belly to belly oh, by here. Kitty. And Takako, very smart, Listen getting enough attention. Like One, two. Yeah, the shoulder up in time. Not how yet. did how did he say it? Home, they can see. Hur Hurricane Rana. Where's Hurricane Rana. Opponent off the road. Nope. Punk said it this to one of the announcers. One of the announcers called her a Hurricana. A Hurricana. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I thought he was a hey, hey, he was got the shoulders down. He was quick enough to catch it and call him out on it. Gotta take more than that. Uh ref. I still get goosebumps when I watch the WWE count. pay per view. It oh takes shit! Me back to when I was a kid, my friends would come over and watch WrestleMania or SummerSlam. Let's see how long they can hold this. A ghost is distracting him. A ghost is distracting him and them. Welcome back. Sorry for the delay, but I am back. Welcome back. And we are frozen right now in this matchup. Oh. That's and what it looks and like. And all, look of the, and all of the positions is to be frozen in. I was gonna say that's not a very bad position to be frozen in, but <laughs> this depends on the video that you're doing. <laughs> oh God! Uh, read the people gonna look back on read this the little like, comment on the bottom oh. line. <laughs> read the bottom line odds. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be after dark in a couple hours. <laughs> in a couple hours. I'll be. I'll be. The sun is still up here. I'll be freed then. <laughs> the sun is still up here. The sun's up here until until about uh, nine o'clock now. So it's like eleven o'clock your time. You're not free until eleven o'clock. <laughs> we are not <laughs> after dark not yet. Free until twelve o'clock. <laughs> we are not after dark yet. <laughs> Just want to make that very clear. <laughs> we are not after oh, dark. Man. Which is why you have to get them out of that position. On this arena tonight, there appear to be plenty yeah, of like, There was a rope break, but nothing happened. Back at this night well, because of the maneuver. freeze, because of the freeze, we are going to have to restart the match. So there's no getting them out of this. And because of that, I am going to make sure the game does not freeze on us anymore. And I'm going to have to jump in the match. <laughs> and play this matchup. And I'm going to turn... I'm going to leave that off. Ah, the tapping of the fighting game. Oh, well, yeah. Yes. Not right. And here we go, folks, as we get this tag team oh. match started. And whichever team wins this match, here's the like the horror, the horror imagery of World of Combat 9 or Top Teams. You gotta believe this yes, one's over! And I'm so happy I was able to find a super cheap copy of that for PS3. I'm so happy about that. Nice <laughs> <laughs> technique. Because with the simple fact of like costume change and all that, that right there is a collector's edition now. A collector's oh, item now. <laughs> so yeah. Just for the costumes alone. Yeah, you can just you can just imagine me playing that. A guy that just, that knows something about fighting games. Nasty kick to the face. Guys, there's something special playing a about fighting game. Game. WWE <laughs> pay-per-view event. Sure, having a match on Raw or SmackDown is really absolutely amazing. But there's nothing quite like the bright. Hey, she might have it. But I will say this: I have liked it better than freaking. I don't think this is going to do it. Street Fighter Four. <laughs> Dang. She I bought them out. both, that and it wanted to test out the best goal. fighting I'm games around. Really At least I liked it better. I like the bright lights of a WWE pay-per-view. But there's also nothing like the pressure of competing on a WWE pay-per-view. I don't know how long I'm going to keep it. I don't know how long I'm going to keep it. Now that Think about it. Pick it up and win. While the entire WWE universe is watching on the WWE Network, it doesn't get much better than that. 
Nailed it. Beautiful technique. Oh, good double team in the middle of the ring by Takako and Tino. which was actually the wrestling classic. Jin is out right now. People usually point to WrestleMania 1 as the first WWE pay per view. That was actually broadcast over closed circuit TV, not pay per view. Harsh impact. These ladies are just destroying her. She's looking at it. Byron digging into his encyclopedia. Line. She somehow breaks was free. Able she have to, to get out. Damage was done. But. Saka Kalantina are still working on her. Jen trying to crawl in the corner. I don't think it's working. She's just getting destroyed right now. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. Oh man, she's rolling now. Ultimate splash. Oh, what a slam. Get the hit. Jen trying to trying to fight out. She was able to get out. Can she get to the corner? No, she breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. Wait, she had a chance to go to the corner and she decided to stay in the match. Oh my. I think Jen is now making this personal. <laughs> Probably making upset. A mistake. I, I I think she's upset that she gets in attack mode. Look out. The champions attacked attacked last night. Trying to get a little bit of payback. She, or she was just protecting a friend. Now they made it personal with that attack last night. I can't help but think how much pay-per-views have grown over the years. I mean, remember the ones back in the 1980s, which were great, don't get me wrong. But now, they've really grown into such a major spectacle. Jen throws Tina back in the ring. You got to oh, over. what a clothesline. She's going to have to go for an attack now. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, your winners, Sasha Kalinaway and Tina Ferrari. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They're not done. How, how atrocious. They're still attacking. They're, they're really attacking Jen right now. The damage has wow. And the super heels. Clearly on a mission here. Living up to the moves. Yeah. yeah. Winning the match and attacking the opponents afterwards. Oh man. And this match is over and we are headed off to our next match. The match we have next is going to be awesome. Stay where you are. Uh, this In a match, match for the record books. Been a should long be time awesome. Coming. This is the penultimate match on the card. The winner of this match will earn a, earn a shot against Nebula at the Redemption pay-per-view. Yeah, this could be a really good match. Yes, it will. Either one of these competitors against Nebula would be a good match. And every uh, dark match I've done with with these five has been spectacular, so this should be a really good one. Yes, it should.
Dang. No, I got admit, that was one time I heard the music right there. <laughs> Uh huh. <coughs> the only times. <laughs> These battle scars. <laughs> Wait, so you guys can hear it when they're in the menus, but when they get into the match, you can't hear it. Is that what's I, going I, on? Through the, oh, through my through microphone. The yes, through, oh, through the mic. Interesting. That's good to know. Good to know, and knowing is half the battle. Yes, it is. That's, That's about right. All right, five woman matchup. Winner of this match is the new number one contender for the Octane Women's Championship. Nebula will probably be watching this match while gloating after she destroyed Starlet. And what was a massacre? That wasn't even a match. That was just a, a 15 minute massacre. They should have ended that match Guys, a long time ago. With this one. I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, should've. Michael. In fact, we should have. Did yet, they? No, they let it go for 15 minutes. And she just looks vicious. I, I would not want to be on Carolyn Elgin's bad side. Nope. She she does not look a, like a very happy competitor. Oh yeah, for that I don't think I've ever seen her smile. For that last match, and shame on me for forgetting it. For the last match, I want to give a shout out to Kimura for um. For Takako Inoue and Tina Ferrari, you did an awesome <laughs> job, bro. They, they are night, awesome. And Michael, I, had to check twice when I, saw I, this I, as our I believe I mean, on uh, his show well they're called the Cooperative, uh, or they're part of the Cooperative over on FNL. So you did an awesome job on those two, bro. They are they're check badass. Of course, mm -hmm. check out the channel, subscribe. Mm-hmm. Click it on this channel and that channel. Click the notification bell, of course. Yes, sir. They go for any CC on the channel that's incorporated. Mm-hmm. Subscribe, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You get all notifications on, on time. And, uh, after the show goes off the air and after it renders... I will go into the uh, comments and uh, leave a list of creators and creations that were featured on the show. From Osaka, Japan, so it might take a day because it takes a while to render for long shows like this. But I will get the updated list of creators and their creations in the comments for the show. I can't think of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. Part of me hoped Saxon would have gotten lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better. But no such luck. He would have done, done a shout out during the match, but 
But he was too busy getting his ass kicked. <laughs> yes, I was too busy getting my ass kicked. And we were too busy having the game freeze on us halfway through a match. Uh-huh. And then get your ass kicked. Isn't, isn't it fun having... Isn't it fun doing live shows? Having little little glitches like that every once in a while. Having to fix them on the fly. That's fine. By doing so, having to get your ass kicked for most most of the match. I was not playing. I was watching that match. I don't know what you're talking about. You were doing commentary. I, I was doing commentary. How can I get my ass kicked? It was <laughs> it was <laughs> Jin that got her ass kicked. Had she a better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't yeah. think of a better had, match to kick the night had, off, Michael. In fact, uh, had Jin gone for a, yet, for a tag, sure maybe the match would wouldn't have ended so quickly. But her hot headedness got the best of her. <laughs> she she could have she could have very well gone for a tag. And her and Kitty would have done fine. However, she didn't. Mm -hmm. She did not. No. And in the first half, they were actually landing a few hits, and they were competitive because they were tagging. But when the free when the freeze happened and we had to restart the match, they just couldn't gather themselves up after having to cool down and restart. It's about as effective as the Thanos snap. Yeah. They weren't. As they the weren't warm happened. enough. Yeah, they weren't. They weren't warm enough, and they didn't keep themselves Guys, warm the during the downtime. Right. During, oh, no. during fact, the break between the match, they didn't warm up in time for the match. Right here. They weren't ready. I could say something right now, but I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're yeah. actually gonna follow the rules! <laughs> oh, God. Uh, what are the rules to me? The rules that are easily broken. Even I've broken them tonight. <laughs> yeah, by the by the owner of the stream. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I broke my own so rules. In, guys, this is gonna be a blast. in the tag match. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the women's match either. That Go back and watch the men's tag team match. Oh, I may have broken the rules there too. <laughs> okay, so I broke a few rules. Oh, you <laughs> oh, dang it, I did break my rule. <laughs> <laughs> I did throw the B word around, didn't I? Ah, oh, darn it. Here I thought I was being a goody two shoe commentator from the from the nineteen eighties and I screwed up. And this this match has gotten off to a chaotic start. It doesn't look like she's it gonna get almost looks here. like a mirror of the first three. match, having a triple thread in the ring and that one, Michael. Oh, a one-on-one -on -one match on the outside. Uh -oh, watch out. right across the back yeah. of the neck. Exactly like you want. I'm gonna say exactly the same thing I'm saying right now. The two that you're squaring off one on one right now know that they are big threats in this matchup, and they're trying to just. Do damage control and get rid of the other one. However, if they and by doing that, they're taking taking each other out of the match. Exactly. She better do something fast. If they were smart, they would get back in that ring. And it looks like Betty has that idea, and she just threw Nadia strong arm back into the ring, but Nadia overpowering her. Nadia, the much larger competitor, and wow! What an arm drag from the top rope. Betty McLeod is out of it right now. Sound asleep on the outside of the ring. And the Carolyns are fighting on the ropes. There she goes. Carolyn Ling just sent Carolyn Elgin flying. 
And now Mika. Oh, Mika Asami getting in the middle of the battle of the Karen Carolines right now. Karen. Attack. It's not Karen, it's Carolyn. Gosh dang it. And Carolyn going for a submission. Will Carolyn tap? <laughs> No, <laughs> no, Carolyn was able to get out of. <laughs> watch, just, just watch. At high octane, it's gonna be those two. I'm calling it right now. It's gonna be those two fighting against each other. The battle of the Carolyns. Lee versus Elgin. It's gonna happen. Watch, it's gonna happen at high octane this year. Those two are gonna face off against each other for the women's for the women's world championship. That's that's what I think is gonna happen. One, two, and Nadia Strong are unable to kick out. As Betty went for a pin. Betty picking right? Carolyn oh, Elgin up. Right, and the throwing her against the ropes. See what Betty McLeod can do. And Elgin is just and out of it right now. It has to have been the whiplash from the ropes. We've seen what the ropes can do. That hangman off the ropes. She's being pushed to the limit. We know how deadly the ropes are. To be your night tonight, fellas. And Nika Asami going for a submission right now. She's almost out of it. In the middle of the ring. Betty McLeod was able to get out. And just as she was getting up, Nadia Strongarm came in and kicked her back down. Nadia trying to cause as much damage to as many competitors as she can. I don't think it's going to work though because Carolyn has her in submission but the ref's running the wrong way. Ref. Stop running away ref. <laughs> Do your job. She's got her the one time I agree with the ropes, the ropes are saying, you can't escape. There will be, in this match, referee, there will be no escape. No escape. Speaking of no escape. Should be coming soon. And should be awesome. Looking forward to that, bro. Make it go for a pin. One, two. Could be whenever I finish it. Look at the look in her eyes. Two point nine. Nadia able to kick out. The end may be near, folks. She looks at the end. Nadia with the slam. Should be sometime before next year. The human body. This may very well be it. I'm saying she's got some better side of resilience, so I think she's got something left here. I think you can get it done. And regardless of when it's finished, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait for it. Alright, so far, this match has, is still going on. And not one of these women have been eliminated yet. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. This and match has to have been going on for at least oh man, she's at up. least ten We're minutes. And they kicked out of that virtual side nice. career. That Emerald DDT. And there it is, boys. What a sweep. The shoulders are down. And Betty going for a pen of her own now. And an airfall. Carolyn kicked out. She's Carolyn Elgin kicked out of the pen. By Betty McLeod. Well, it looks like McLeod is calling for something. But Carolyn able to counter. So these two competitors are really fighting each other. Mika Asami getting involved now.
Maybe Mika Asami is going to sacrifice her after that ritual sacrifice. They're trying to get involved the ring in the now. fight between Ooh. Betty and Carolyn. Oh, never mind. Ooh, Betty the arm. Oh, going back the on the offense it's against the Carolyn end. Elgin. And Carolyn oh, easily so gets rid of Betty and, and is now guys. facing off against Mika it. again. One, two. Two point nine. How many two point nines are we gonna get in this match? None of these ladies want to give up. One, two, three. And Nadia Strongarm is the first competitor eliminated, courtesy of Mika and Asami. And that's just an elimination. Oh, and Mika and Carolyn winning. Shades of the tag team these two used to to be in. Double teaming to take out Carolyn Elgin. But Mika turned on Carolyn and he's gone for the pin. One, two. And Carolyn Elgin this time was able to kick out. Mika's tag team partner was Carolyn Lane. That might have done it, Cole. Mika Asami finding, finding some late match uh, adrenaline. Beautiful technique. As she just ran into an elbow by Betty McLeod and then caught the second elbow. Mika Asami showed her strength. She might be the smallest competitor in this matchup, but size is not everything. One, two, three. And Betty McLeod is out of the match. Mika Osami with the second elimination. And Carolyn Elgin with a vicious attack. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. What a kick. Wow, she fought her way all the way back here. Oh, nasty impact. Kick right of the mush. Yeah. Oh boy. Are you kidding wow. me? Wow. That, might just that be was the crazy. Nail in the that, was, that was insane. Elgin just went flying through the ropes and DDT Karen Wing onto the floor. And Mika Asami, who is in the ring unconscious at the time, is now up and attacking, and all three women are fighting on the on the at ringside. Vertical suplex. Nice. My God, what a vicious suplex onto the floor! For Mika Asami, so I think she might be just trying to pin every competitor. She already, right the already eliminated the, the first two competitors. Oh! You can see I don't even know what that was. That was, that was. that was just crazy. That's how you stop your opponent. Oh, wow. And now the Carolyns are fighting again. Over over. He's back in full control now. Like to the oh. beginning of the match. Absolutely and till now, still fighting. Uh -huh. uh, she I told you those two are going to end up fighting each other. Two! Mika <laughs> Asami able to kick out of the pen. Carolyn Ling doing what she can. And Asami. Oh, now running into some lariats. Oh, what a super kick. By Carolyn Elgin or Carolyn Ling. I'm getting my Carolyns mixed up now. Uh -oh. Delvin, oh, did you book them in this match together on purpose to confuse me? <laughs> As an owner, he probably did. Yeah. I don't even think he's watching this match right now. I think he's just getting ready for his match that's coming up. Here we go. Carolyn Lee well, could put Mika and Asami away right here. Uh, Providing uh, Carolyn Elgin lets her. That's it. That's what she needed. Nope. <laughs> what a driver. 
and the Carolines are battling it out again in the middle of the ring. It's a good thing their names, their both of their names are Carolina. One, two. <laughs> Carolyn went for the pin, but Carolyn kicked out. <laughs> what a kick out by Carolyn after after the ritual sacrifice by Carolyn. And now Carolyn with the submission, but Carolyn fighting back. On to Carolyn. <laughs> Carolyn so able fast. to get out of the submission. Yeah, but it's got to just be Carolyn put it, put her in. She gets picked off. You can just imagine, <laughs> you can just imagine someone popping in right, right during she that segment and going, "Why are they talking about oh, one character?" <laughs> Not knowing that both of their names are Carolyn. One, two. Amiga Asami kicks out. I'm impressed. And Asami and Elgin staring each other down. It could have been Carolyn versus Carolyn again. And Mika saw me with the drop kick. Elgin was flying onto the floor. Oh, damage to the body. And a crossbody. She She's going to be feeling that one for a while. The oh, boy. Hey. These two are just trading off reversals right now. Something that I'm used to seeing a lot on this show. And this is the longest reversals, reversal sequence I've seen. They, they save it for the they save it for the pay-per-view, you know? Save it for the big matches. Let's see how many times we can reverse each other's moves. Oh, what a kick! Back now inside the ring. Throws Mika into the ring. And we. Well, the Carolyns are fighting each other again. And a hip attack by Carolyn Ling as she goes for a pin. One, two. No, Carolyn Elgin able to kick out. And now Carolyn Ling is going to attack Mika Asami. But Asami using her height to her advantage as she didn't even have to duck to dodge that elbow. At some point the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured. And Asami wisely throwing Carolyn Ling back in the ring, not paying attention and getting pile driven onto the floor. One, two, and a kick out. I can't believe she kicked out of that pile driver. Oh, man. Oh. This one's <laughs> over, guys. That was very close. I was just about to make a reference, but I won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a Coco Beware reference? No, I can't believe it's not better. <laughs> 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 It happens. Damn. <laughs> Momentum clearly in her corner. Yeah, never thought we were popping in. Never thought we were coming in. Make it the right. Never. Hell no. This is gonna do it. Uh oh. This is pretty easy. Oh. Oh. Amazing. Dang. There may be no beating her here tonight. Somebody's got hot. Well, Elgin was. Going to attack Mika Asami, but when Carolyn Ling came in and landed that, that landed that the knees from the top row, Hogan had to switch her attention to Carolyn Ling, and now Carolyn Ling is eliminated, and the battle of the Carolyns is over. So, so, so let's end the battle of the Carolyns. Yes, thus ends the battle of the Carolyns. That was the highlight of the um, Well, I can't even say it's the highlight of the match, though, but... <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was the rivalry of the match, though. That was that was the rivalry of the match right there. <laughs> Carolyn versus Carolyn. We'll have to see what happens next week on Octane between those two. As now Carolyn Elgin is destroying Mika Asami in that ring. All five of these women put on an awesome match if tonight. You're this superstar, you gotta be happy about where you're listed in the recent power rankings. Did 
Diamond Saxon just say Power Rangers? Or did he say Power Rankings? So it sounded yeah, like he said Power Rangers. Say, this game would be Power, Power Rankings. rankings. I thought there was yeah. a misprint. There's no way okay. this superstar deserves such a power yeah, I thought he had said the most recent Power Rangers. I was going, what is he talking about? I wouldn't even say these cries, but to me, Byron Saxon is more of a Teletubbies fan than a Power Rangers fan. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Did you see the impact on that? I just like pushing him like wanting to be like one of those three. We're going to pay him one, two, kick out. He even makes a left. Kicks out in time. Like, why not? We're looking at complete domination here. Byron Saxon wanted to be like one of those kids that was on the Grey Wife, like on the Fireflies. <laughs> I'm just putting him like, I don't do that when the kids sitting down, like, on the phone, so I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, Those kids look so unamused. Like, they show them and they're just sitting there like, why are we even here? That's the look I get on their, on their face. Uh-huh. For the Firefly, Fire, Firefly Funhouse. Can pick up the oh boy! Elgin going for the pin. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, Carolyn Elgin is the new number one contender for the Octane Women's Championship. Congratulations to Carolyn Elgin. Congratulations to Carolyn Elgin. And congratulations to her creator against all odds. You have another character here, heading for a title. <laughs> and here's how she finishes well, she us another question. That's a very good question, especially since she's facing... Here is your winner. Especially Red since Ripper, she's facing Jacob, Nebula. In the first if she was facing anybody else, an I'd say she probably won the title. Fashion. Yeah. If that matches any indication of what <sighs> she's, here tonight, she's we are facing the amazing evening. My street killer. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just call her the street killer because she will not let anybody hold the title. Like I can give somebody a title and she'll just go in and take it. You can't even get a winning start a winning streak with that title. That's why that's why she's the street killer. She'll lose it and then she'll re regain it the next match. And I don't usually play any of those matches. I tried playing that match because I was trying to strip her of the damn title, but apparently, apparently Nebula likes that title. Mm -hmm. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the final matchup of the night for the Come Cruiserweight on, World on. Championship. No, you're you're good. <laughs> The final matchup of the night for the Cruiserweight World Championship, American Phoenix with Bobby Heenan in his corner will be facing off against Delvin McLeod. Against Delvin McLeod, the strongest cruiserweight in the world! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So I'm not actually going to play as either of these two. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of them, and then when the match starts, I'm going to press pause and switch to Mr. Heenan, so that way we can get counts and we can see... Oh, wait a minute. It's no longer an Iron Man match. What am I thinking? All right. Well... <laughs> Betty McLeod has changed the stipulation of this match. It is now a one-on-one -on -one match between Delvin McLeod and American Phoenix. This is the main event of Iron Mountain, and it is starting right now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. In the score, the Cruiserweight World Championship. Well, she actually got the title right. I am shocked. That may be the only time she gets something correct the whole year. <laughs> Probably. 
It's funny. Octane. 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 <laughs> cruiserweight. 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 Title. 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 Oh. On the way to the ring. Phoenix. 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 Of America. Oh, Bobby. He did. 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 He <laughs> Champion! Wait, no, number one contender! Oh wait, I'm coming in by! We're all looking at it. We're all looking going, thanks, JoJo. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And yeah, Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. And it is main event time, ladies and gentlemen. American Phoenix has entered the arena. Phoenix stated earlier in the night, well actually earlier in the night, Phoenix was just making fun of us on commentary. As you can uh -huh. see. On multiple occasions. On multiple occasions, yes. Saying that people stole his moves. <coughs> Copyright infringement. Mm-hmm. Copyright yeah, infringement. Copyright and here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the cruiserweight world champion. Here we are, to the princess of the universe. <laughs> classic <laughs> and I should have had that on. Should have had it ready to go. Dang it! Failure well, for me. One of my favorite things of all time, to be honest. You you can thank uh, Mr. Monk for that one. He uh, he a long time ago is who uh, told me that should be his entrance theme, and it has stuck for for the rest of time. That is probably the greatest entrance theme. I agree, that is my favorite entrance theme. Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. And this is going to be a very good match between these two competitors. The last time they faced off in an Iron Man type matchup off screen. It took them 15 minutes to get the first pinfall. So maybe that could be why Betty decided to just call it and have this be a one on one matchup. We we don't know. It's probably a smart idea. It is probably a smart idea. So this is it, ladies and gentlemen, the last match of the night. Introducing the challenger from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 190 pounds, the All-American. The American Phoenix. Introducing the champion from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 170 pounds. He is the Cruiserweight World Champion, Demon Mac Lord. Okay, I can't really argue with that one. He does kind of look like a demon, but Delvin McLeod, <laughs> the Cruiserweight World Champion. Put down that remote and stay a while. Mac Lord. No, Mac Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Not MacBorn. MacLord. Or oh, JoJo, it makes it sound like she's saying born. Uh she can't even say Lord right. So if you made like a Lord Steven Regal, <laughs> she would say born Steven Regal. 
It's like, no, why, Jojo? No more talking behind each other's backs. Now, he's got him Delvin he's going for a pin count. right off the bat. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. And he's picking oh, Phoenix oh, oh, oh. up and a slam impact. onto the mat. Delvin off to an early, early assault. Phoenix you now taking technique. control. With those standing corkscrew moonsaults. Delvin only took one this time. Phoenix oh throws a kick and a knee. Delvin is down. Phoenix could... No. Delvin with the counter. Delvin, Irish shows Phoenix He's into the corner. Phoenix oh. with an Urinagi oh, as a counter. As he's dragging Delvin into the middle of the ring. Phoenix working on the side of Delvin McLeod. I can tell you guys that this arena sold out. Trying to wear down the arm. That has to do with this match in the ring Phoenix. right now. This is easily one of the most anticipated title matches. Manipulating the hand of Delvin memory. McLeod. McLeod has the starting to stumble a bit. some submission a finishers. Going to take a whole heck and a lot more Phoenix to could want to prevent Delvin from having a good grip. And he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned. And he tries to lock like in those finishers. Delvin fighting back. Place here, I had dozens of people I know the Irish whips Phoenix into the corner. Just hoping I could get them tickets. That's how big this match is. A <laughs> nasty <laughs> suplex. Actually, think you have enough pull around What's here that favoritism that I hear, no. Mr. Odds? <laughs> <laughs> Are you playing favorites in this matchup? You gotta believe no, I just said. No, I just said. We've seen uh -huh. champions head into matches maybe a little uh -huh. too confident, only to be picked off in the end. And guys, I can't and help Delvin. but wonder if I'm going to see that again here tonight. Oh, ah, now oh. I get it. He's Scottish, he Irish whip. It's kind of like when he uses the European uppercut. The end may be near. Okay. Oh boy. Right to the back. Phoenix what going for a pin. One, two. Delvin able to get out of it. Well, said by Jeff, they're always going. I got it. I, I got the joke this time. Oh, man. Dang it. You got me again. He went for a pin. One, two. Only a two count. Delvin able to kick out of that Phoenix splash. And Michael Cole, we already saw that. That high risk move from the top rope. You are not on delay like we are. Ring rattling. Well, we saw a lot before you did. Yes, we did. He commented on it after we commented on it. Thunderous slam. Double with a single arm takedown. You know, Those Phoenix into the corner. Absolutely. Everything they've got. These men have gone to the top rope. And the crowd is chanting, This is awesome. Oh my god, what a suplex to the outside. Absolutely. These two. Yes, brutal suplex. Hey, Chris, welcome to the stream. He wants no part of the outside. And Delvin. Welcome to the stream, Chris. Throws Phoenix in the middle of the ring. Delvin going for a pinfall. One, down. two, only a two count. As these two have been putting on an absolute clinic. He might have, ah, what a neck Delvin sure with an Irish oh, whip and a kick. Thanks, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh boy, he is and Delvin trying to stay in control of this match. Oh, it's not going to be pretty. Oh, what a kick. Delvin going for the pin, but the referee. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Oh, that's cool. The referee's distracted. Delvin missed. Oh. This leaping high. That's how you put an exclamation point. Phoenix. Delvin now attacking. Did Bobby Heenan just throw a chair in the ring? Am I the only one I seeing so. this? Oh no. Oh boy, Ref, turn around and grab that chair. One, one. two, two close for cover. What a only match. a two count. 
Phoenix able to kick out. Delman on the attack. Phoenix able to counter. And Phoenix going to the top rope. Here he goes. Look out. Delman got the knees up. Phoenix did not connect with the Phoenix splash. Looking at it. Delvin McLeod. Beautiful technique. Could finish this match right here. One, two. No. Into a Boston Crab. Look at the look on his opponent's face. Phoenix tap out. No. Phoenix able to fight out of the submission. And the match will continue. Bobby Heenan going for another distraction. And the ref just barely got out of the way. And we have a amazing match going on here this right now. Down, One, on two, line. three. Ladies and There's gentlemen, the Delvin McLeod has it's retained the Cruiserweight over. World Championship. In, the, in an incredible match. In an absolutely like incredible match. Low light for another. And this just in the reason we, we are we are getting something from the from the truck right Check now. Here. The Check reason out. that this match has been changed around. was changed to a singles competition and, and not an so Iron Man match is because these two men have a match later on in the month against each other at no escape. Here is your winner, so in order to keep still, their health. Eddie decided to make this Demon, a singles match. And that's the win to start off the night. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, to Delvin I can't see the rest of the car for pulling off that well, win. Not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay Definitely tuned for him. more great action. Okay. And we are going to go back and look at the results of the show right now before we go off the air. This was a, an awesome show. Yes, it was. Oh, and it jumped ahead. Well, I guess we're not going to look at the results. <laughs> universe. Well, let's at least go into Universe, and since we're live right now, we're going to go into Universe, and we're going to look at um, Rivalries. Nope. That's not it. Wait, that's it. News, maybe? Oh, News. There we go. Where's News at? Ah, news. All right. Seven has been cleared by medical staff to compete once again. Wow, so Seven was actually out injured. That explains why it took him so long to show up. Uh-oh. Elgin sustained a minor energy after, after her match. Oh, wait, that's from last year. Never mind. I simmed a year before we got to this. <laughs> that's why that's why it's saying this. Alright, never mind. News is outdated. Well, everybody, thank you for <laughs> tuning in. Uh, Crispy Chris, thanks for jumping in and watching the stream. It's much appreciated. Um, and uh, I guess the last thing I can say is this stream is done. You're going to see some happy bouncy broad boxes here in a minute as the show goes off the air. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody.